In a previous segment, I demonstrated for you how to use the Scope True alignment bar to mount a set of standard rings on a rifle. Today, we're going to focus on some of its features. This is the final version, the CNC version of the Scope True alignment bar, and in a moment we're going to take a close-up of it and go over some of the changes that have been made on the profile. Let's begin by pointing out a few of the final changes that have been made to the Scope True bar. The reduced diameter cylinder on the front pointer is easy to line up on the barrel and it is designed to work with barrels from a number one contour on up. When the pointer is centered on the barrel, there is an equal amount of barrel showing on each side of the reduced diameter cylinder. The tip of the pointer has been blunted to make it much safer to use. The scope true has a knurled handle for better gripping as it takes about 20 foot-pounds of torque to turn the rings into their bases. The scope true has a beveled point on the rear of the bar to serve as a pointer on the center of the bolt plug or on the tang of the action. And finally, the overall length of the bar is 18 inches and we will demonstrate why in just a moment. When setting the forward ring on a rifle, the bar is the correct length so that when that ring is put on about an inch and a half to two inches from the end and that front ring is installed, that pointer will fall just short of the front sight on these shorter carbine rifles such as the Ruger 1022 and the Remington 600 as we have here. So you can see just a small amount of space right here. And here is a close-up of that front sight and the pointer on the bar and showing you the extra room left for the overall length. And here's a view from above. With both rings installed on the rifle now, and the scope true alignment bar through both of those rings, I want to show you in a different view how that bar can line up both the front and the rear rings on the same axis with precision. So we'll take a close-up look at that now. Let's take a close-up look now. Both the front and rear rings have been set and the scope true alignment bar is within both rings and it shows or demonstrates how both of them have to be on the same axis. By centering the pointer on the barrel when you're doing the installation process, that is if it's a set of standard rings, you'll move that pointer in the front by advancing or retreating the left or right windage screw to center that pointer on the barrel. And when that pointer is centered on the barrel, that lines up both of the rings that are going to hold the scope in a near perfect parallel alignment with the axis of the bore. With both the front and rear rings mounted and the adjustments made so the pointer is centered on the barrel, we want to take a view of this bar on the rifle from the rear of the rifle, which is where I prefer to look at it for the final adjustments. We'll watch to see if the rear pointer is centered on the bolt plug or the tang of the action and we'll watch primarily to see if the front pointer is centered on the barrel. So let's take a look at that from the back side of the rifle. Briefly now we'll take a look at the scope true alignment bar on the rifle from the rear position and you'll note how the rear pointer is centered on the bolt plug and the front one is centered on the barrel. Let's take one final closer view of that pointer on the center of the barrel. At this point in time, our early results have shown us that in checking a mounted scope after we've used a scope true alignment bar with a Sweeney sight line bore sighter, what we've been finding is this bar will line up the rings with the axis of the bore in such a way that at about 100 yards we're about five to six clicks off, which is about one and a quarter to one and a half inches. Now I've spoken with a gentleman that's mounted scopes for 40 years and he said without using this tool and in mounting scopes, he generally was finding he was about 8 inches off at 100 yards. So it's a vast improvement and we're going to develop a database using the Sweeney Collimator to find out what that actually does over a period of time. Before I remove that bar, I want to give you a final view at the top here of the Scope True Alignment Bar centered on the barrel. I've now highlighted for you some of the points of the scope true alignment bar and how it works. I'd invite you to 
check out a Scope Toolbar today. It's a lifetime investment designed for the professional gunsmith, the at-home gun crank, or retail or wholesale sporting goods stores where a high volume of scopes are mounted during the year. Check one out, and thank you for watching.